Oh, hey there. Do you constantly feel like you're trying to eat right, exercise, get in shape and lose weight? And never do. Me too. Now I've decided to do something extreme. To try at 40 years old, to get healthier than I was when I was 30, but in a way that's sustainable. I've tried numerous ways to lose weight and keep it off throughout the years. I've done keto, I've tried eating solid ice cream. That wasn't one of them. I may lose a little bit of weight, but I never keep it off. So I weighed in this week and I weighed in at 248 pounds. My goal is to get down to 200 pounds in six months, which means I have to lose about two pounds a week on average to get to that point. And in addition to trying to hit this goal weight in six months, I also signed up to run 48 miles in six months, which makes losing the weight even harder because the more I run, the more I wanna eat. And I can't lose weight if I have a bad diet. It's gonna be this constant balance. I plan to work out six days a week. Part of that's the training for the 48 miles. Part of it's gonna be strength training. Each week, I'm gonna to try to slowly change something so that by the end of this, I have something sustainable. It does me no good to lose 48 pounds and then gain it all right back. So this week, my arch nemesis is snacks. I enjoy ice cream, popcorn, pistachios, all sorts of stuff after dinner. We can't have that. I have to train six days, not snack. That way I can try to lose two pounds this week. Will it be easy? No. So let's jump right into it. Circuit training on Monday. There were some moments where I really questioned this whole diet. Set one done. My heart's in the 140s from a strength workout. Whew. That was hard, though I love upper body. All right, I got this. Workout one is done. Burn 416 calories, so my watch says. My heart rate went up to 160. Kind of scary for weight training, though it was circuit training. The key for the rest of my day is A, to catch my breath, but B, not eat all the calories I just burned. Time to go eat some breakfast. Well, time to shower, then eat some breakfast. My wife may not appreciate it if I don't shower first. See you in a little while. I'm still sweating, which is always a problem when I work out in the morning. But if I don't work out in the morning, by the time I get up from work, I don't feel like working out or it's too hot. Living in Florida can be rough in the summer. But workout is done, feeling good. Hopefully air conditioner is not blowing on this microphone too much. I had some eggs and a protein shake. I tend to eat the same thing every day, at least work days because I hate tracking calories. I know I'll get to a point where I have to track calories, but I'm hoping it's not for a couple weeks while I just focus on exercising and eating healthier. All right, off to work. I'll see you in the morning. So I did run on Tuesday, but I forgot to press the record button. But in my 45 minute run, I ran 3.16 miles with a 1409 minute mile. Here we are Thursday, second round of the week. Goal of this run, stay in zone two. Built that heart rate. 77 degrees, 100% humidity, but it's not raining. It's very strange. Welcome to Florida. It's like running and swimming at the same time. Wednesday, I was too tired. It didn't work out. Oh, so good start this week. But let's get this run done. See how far I can do today. All right, I'll see you at the end of the run. Run is done. 3.07 miles at 14.41 pace. Not too shabby. Now I have to rush and get ready to work and everything. Eat some breakfast. See you in the morning. Day five, total body. So far I've only missed one day. Not too bad. And I've done fairly well eating, I think. Not a big fan of total body, only because it's a lot of legs. It's gonna be rough. All right, 45 minutes of this. Let's see how I feel at the end. Workout is done. Since I burned 531 calories, it is a strength training circuit. Total body, which you can see I'm pouring sweat. Need a towel next time. Didn't bring it with me. My average heart weight is 144, which is crazy for strength training, but it's also because I'm out of shape and I was doing circuits. So that made it a little more intense. During the step up sumo squats, my heart rate sat over 160. I can't do the step up, so I did the easier version where I just basically did two squats. Normal squat, sumo squat. All right, one more day and then weigh in. I'm hoping I hit my goals. I've only missed one day of exercise thus far and I've messed up on food a couple times, but nothing insane, no cold stone, anything like that. So fingers crossed. See you in the morning. Last workout of the week. I am gonna try to stay in zone two, most of it, but the three mile run, I'm gonna try to push myself a little harder, get my heart rate up a bit more to help work on my cardio. I've already run three miles two times this week, so it shouldn't be too bad, except for I'm really sore from total body yesterday. Tomorrow is weigh in, hope and down. Haven't been in great at snacking, so we'll see. See you at the end of the run. Three miles are done. It's almost 80 degrees and 
93% humidity. So it's hot, as you can see. Average heart rate 157. So I did get out of zone two for a little while. Well, most of it at least. Three miles, 43 minutes, 1433 minute mile. All right, that's the last workout of the week. Tomorrow is weigh in. Next week, I have a seven mile run because I'm behind schedule based on the three mile today. It's gonna be fun. Fingers crossed, I lost at least two pounds. I feel like I worked hard this week. Be very upset if I didn't. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, that is one week down. I did weigh in this morning, which we'll get to in just a second. Didn't quite go as planned. Missed one day working out, did some snacking, but all in all, not a bad start. Next week, I'll have some different workouts and have to run seven miles, but I think I can do it. I think I can. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Now let's get to the weigh in. Will I lose two pounds? I actually lost almost four pounds, which the first week will always be the biggest week. I can't lose focus. I still want to get the two pounds a week even though I lost almost four this week, because at some point I will plateau. Check out the QR code if you wanna see the gear I use. I've spent a lot of time trying to find things for heavier, and check out this video right here, which YouTube says you're gonna love. See you next week.